one point or another, when getting into tabletop role-playing games, we've all faced the same problem. Wanting to play a game, but not really feeling ready to be the game master. I may now run weekly games for my D&D group, but at one stage the idea terrified me too. Luckily, there are plenty of ways to jump into a game even if you're not ready to run one. Whether you don't have a group together yet, or just don't have any friends interested in GMing, I'll cover a way you can quickly get into playing. I'm Maddie from Dicebreaker, and these are some tips and tricks to get you playing RPGs without a GM. coming to this video with an idea of what you already want to play. Maybe you've picked up a D&D starter set or are ready to crack open your copy of Cyberpunk, but the idea of turning all of those rules and the massive textbooks into fun is a little daunting. Well, why not start with a different RPG that doesn't need a GM to guide you? There are actually tons out there that just mean you can jump into playing without making someone do a load of prep beforehand. Now, that might sound like a weird concept if you've never tried an RPG like that, but most GMless games work where everyone takes on some of the game mastering. You all develop the story, play NPCs, or describe locations together as a group, so no one person has to take on the burden of GMing. GMless games cover so many different genres too. You could try something like Fiasco, an RPG inspired by the likes of Fargo and Reservoir Dogs, where you play out cinematic capers gone wrong. Cards help you to develop the story rather than relying on a GM, so the rest of you can concentrate on being hopeless criminals having fun. Or perhaps you'd rather something more gentle and could play Wonder Home. This is a game where you're all animal folk on a peaceful journey together. The book is full of prompts to help you all collaboratively build the whimsical world and decide who you meet along the way. Players take it in turns being those animal NPCs, so you're basically sharing the role of the GM as you go, which is a great way to ease into the idea of running games. And Wonder Home can also be played with a game master, so maybe after a few games someone will feel maybe ready to have a go at leading the session. Whether you want a fantasy or sci-fi setting, modern day or historical, there are so many types of GMless games to play with your groove, and each uses differing ways to make play possible, so it's worth reading around to find one that's right for you all. If a game where people take it in turns being NPCs and running the game still sounds too much like GMing for you, why not try a totally different style of game with a solo RPG? These are usually meant to be played alone, where you journal your experience of a story as a character using prompts from a book. However, just because they're intended to be played alone, it doesn't mean you can't collaborate with friends or even just play them alone together. Some solo games even have rules to help you play with friends, such as Apothecaria, an RPG about being an animal helping other critters with ailments across the Scottish Highlands. In the book, it suggests a number of ways to expand a solo experience into a collaborative one, from sending your adventures to each other through letters, like being pen pals, or becoming a caravan of creatures who all work together to help others. Apothecaria is a great game to start with if you're interested in solo games, but you can use these ideas in any number of traditionally solo adventures. One of my favourites is Colossal, a solo adventure where you explore a castle so huge it has entire cities and oceans inside each room. As you draw cards to generate what happens on your adventure, you can come up with ideas with a friend or two and fill in your journal as if you were all travelling together. You could also play in silence, side by side with a cup of tea and some gentle music, or just chat about everything you see and compare notes on what you experience before you take to your solo journals. 
Like GMless games, there is a whole world of solo games to explore out there that utilize different mechanics, play with different themes, and can open your table up to some really exciting adventures. Want to embody a cool group of characters with friends but don't have anyone to plan your adventures, then why not grab a board game with strong role-playing elements to scratch that RP itch? While not quite the same as playing a TTRPG, you can still have some great fun doing silly voices, becoming a cool elf, or exploring unknown places. The Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth became a favourite of mine back over the Christmas break, because it was a chance to have exciting adventures where I had no idea what was coming next in the story, but neither me or my partner I was playing with had to do any prep work beforehand. We could jump in as Gimli and Legolas, drafting a story about it being their honeymoon break, and head off to uncover clues across Middle-earth, and fight Orokai as we did. It uses an app and modular game board to weave a tale for you, and there are all kinds of wonderful modules to check out. Plus, the adventure we tried was hard enough that we had to keep roleplaying to just try and survive, so you won't run out of RP sessions anytime soon. Another classic board game with strong role-playing elements is Gloomhaven. Players become adventurers tackling dark dungeons and forgotten ruins, but rather than just going from A to B, you can enhance your character's powers through loot, battle monsters, and tell a branching story through the choices you make. With all of that, it's basically like dungeon crawling through D&D, but the game runs itself for you instead of a dungeon master. There are a ton of board games with role-playing elements out there, plenty more for fantasy lovers, but a great selection for those after something different too. Just search around, we even have a list on dicebreaker.com of ones you should check out. <laughs> want a traditional TTRPG experience, but just don't have the group to play with or anyone to GM for you and your friends, there are ways you can still find a group. Firstly, check out your local board game cafe or general nerd shop. They'll almost definitely have RPG nights or know of local ones you can join. You can usually find both big hitters and indie games, so there will be options on what to play if traditional fantasy isn't your tavern drink of choice. Sign yourself up and you'll quickly find a new group to play with, or someone willing to run a game for you and your friends. Sometimes these will be groups just for fun, but you can also find paid GMs to run specific games for you. Either way, head down to your game store and you'll soon be sharing adventures and supporting a great local business. Alternatively, if you haven't got any shops nearby or aren't too worried about being in person when you play, you can absolutely find a game online. Head to a subreddit of the game you're playing or just slash LFG, which is looking for game, and you'll be able to find groups to join with someone willing to run it for you. I even found an online game through a screenwriting Reddit group, so you can branch out to other hobbies to see if anyone is interested in there too. You never know who might be curious about trying out an RPG. Or you just trick them into thinking it's a helpful character building exercise for writing, and the next thing you know we're all crying over a nerdy wizard dying as if he was real. If this video is anything to go by, you're not the first person to want to play an RPG, but not want to GM it. Luckily, that means there are a few great tools out there to do the job for you. There are fantastic GM emulators and oracles out there that allow you to play a game and let dice or cards decide what happens next instead of a GM. Mythic Game Master Emulator, while created for the Mythic RPG, can be used as a basis to run all sorts of games. It's a whole system of tables and rules that mean after a few minutes of setup, you can have a dynamic, exciting RPG session. It uses an oracle system, which basically answers questions the GM normally would, like if there's a monster in the room you enter, or if a chest is locked. Then you would use a random table to determine what that monster is, or 
or what it does in a fight, and what cool loot you find inside a chest. Or if that chest is also a monster and a mimic. There are various types of oracles and emulators like this, so you can search around to find the best one for your group, but Mythic is generally a great starting place. These rules also mean you can play RPGs alone as well if you don't have a group together yet. Another alternative is DM Yourselves, a set of rules to help you adapt pre-written adventures into amazing, immersive experiences without a GM in sight. So if you love the look of Spelljammer, Radiant Citadel, or any other campaign out there, this is your chance to try it out without needing a GM to read through the books first and plan it all for you. The original version of DM Yourselves was meant for solo players, but the new version invites friends to the table with you. It also started out as a way to mainly run D&D 5e games, but there are guides to try and adapt it for other systems too if you want. So whether you're following an adventure or exploring a randomised dungeon, there's a way for you to play your chosen RPG without a GM. Okay, I know you're watching this video specifically to find out how to play without a GM, but if you're interested enough in the game you want to play, maybe you should just have a go. I know it seems scary, but after your first game, you'll realize just how easy it is to organize a fun game with friends. Start off with a pre-written adventure or a rules-like game, whatever makes you feel more comfortable tackling GMing, and you'll quickly get to grips with what an RPG session can be. There are also so many resources out there to make running a game easier and take away any of the various aspects that might be scary, such as improv or world building. Have a look at the Game Master's Guide of your chosen RPG and go from there. You'd be surprised at how much fun it is getting to open up the story for players. So, those are some of the ways you can play an RPG without a GM. There are so many different styles of play, you'll be sure to find one that suits your group. But if you have any other suggestions on how to play or questions about games, please leave them in the comments below. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the Dicebreaker channel? We have tons more great tips and tricks on improving your RPG games and a whole host of other fun tabletop content. For now though, go ahead, enjoy your RPG without your GM and don't forget to have a lovely day.